It happened. We actually managed to find someone in Ding Dong. And it only took two Reddit posts to do. Hello, fabulous fiends. Yes, we managed to locate one of the 20 people in Ding Dong. Disclaimer, they don't actually live in Ding Dong anymore, but they grew up there. But it still counts because I don't know that many people move in or out of Ding Dong over time. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a victory. It was huge Axemen, wink, wink, nudge, nudge on the name, who grew up in Ding Dong, but hasn't been back in a good while. Unfortunately and tragically, there is no known demon. Him. So I think we should just start the trend and call them Dongs. And while Huge Axeman had only extremely negative things to report about growing up in Killeen, as the place is a dystopian shithole, uh, living in Ding Dong is one of the few positive memories he has. Huge Axeman lived on a very large amount of land with some frontage on the river, which made for a pretty idyllic childhood, it sounds like. He did also have some great stories um, that I really enjoyed about the Tuckeria. It used to be a convenience store, but then became a restaurant that apparently has great chicken fried steak and a bar, sort of country bar where folks could take their kids to. And one day at that bar, his dad whooped some other guy's ass Ooh. for selling him a stolen tractor. Tragically, he wasn't there because he stayed home to play Dreamcast. That was a poor decision on Hugh Jackman's part, I think. Further down from Ding Dong, there is apparently a haunted bridge where, quote, local law has it that if you go out to the bridge, park in the middle and sprinkle a bunch of flour or something on the back window, you can see the handprints of all the ghosts of school children who once died in a school bus crash. He did mention that he and his mum got in a pretty bad wreck on that bridge and he complains that he doesn't recall those pieces of shit ghost kids helping out, but the fact that they made it across makes me think that maybe they did help out. Otherwise, apparently there are good burgers at the gas station and that there is some ding dong honey available at the farmer's market. That is apparently quite delicious. The fireman says, bruh, I lived here for my whole life. I never heard of ding dong, Texas. Well, you have now, bruh. Now onwards and upwards to our next adventure. That's in my home state of California. I've driven past the exit several times. I've never looked it up. But every time I've passed that sign, I laugh my ass off and take a picture and I've taken a picture every single time I've passed it. I can't imagine why it's called what it is. It's, it's just one of those things that makes you go, why? So pack your bags and prepare to take a virtual road trip to rough and ready California. And no, that's not a descriptor of California. That's the town. It's called rough and ready. Are you ready for rough and ready or are you just rough? Understandable in 2020. Rough and ready. There she is. Oh, it's census designated. It's in Nevada County. Population was 963 at the 2010 census. Ooh, I suppose we'll find out soon if that grew. All right, let's read about Rough and Ready. 62 miles from Sacramento. Ooh, it looks like it's another sort of mining town. You always pass it on the way to Tahoe if you're heading to North Lake. The first established settlement in Rough and Ready was made in the fall of 1849 by a mining company from Wisconsin known as the Rough and Ready Company. During the California Gold Rush, their leader, Captain A.A. A. Townsend, named the company after General Zachary Taylor, nicknamed Old Rough and Ready, who had recently been elected the 12th President of the United States. We had a president who was referred to as Rough and Ready. Actually, why am I surprised? That's not surprising at all. The town declared its secession from the Union as the Great Republic of Rough and Ready on 7th of April 1850, largely to avoid mining taxes, but voted to rejoin the Union less than three months later on the 4th of July. The Old Republic is still celebrated annually as a way to attract tourism. Rough and ready was not quite ready. It was rough, but not ready to fully secede. The post office at Rough and Ready was established by February 1851. The first postmaster was, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marcus Nutting. Nutting. The first postmaster was Marcus Nutting. Mr. Nutting was by definition rough and ready, that's for sure. The post office was closed for a time in 1855, again for a time in 1913, and again from 1942 to 1948. That is not a convenient time to be closed. That is not a convenient time for any post office to shut down. Why did it keep shutting down? Marcus was probably busy nutting, let's be real. What little is left of the town, excuse me, there's nearly a thousand people that live there. Oh, I suppose they mean the old town, 
Alright, fine, that's fair. It's located on the rough and ready highway. Yes, yes it is. 100% of the population lived in households, 0% lived in non-institutionalised group quarters, and 0% were institutionalised. Well, isn't that the hallmark of success? Rough and ready leading the way. What is this flag? This looks like it was made recently. Yes, it was made recently. Why is that here? Who put that image on Wikipedia? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> Hello, rough and ready fire department at your service. Animal Clinic of Rough and Ready. Rough and Ready Cemetery! What a place to be buried. Lower Rough and Ready Ditch. The mobile home community. Ooh, highly rated. Place is awesome and it is scenic. Cute little place with the most friendly people I've met in little town. I feel right at home. Wow, how nice, Becky. That's very nice. Somebody's rated it low. The manager is mentally ill. Oh dear. It's okay. But you gave it five stars, Ellen. Don't mess about. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, it's cute. Rough and ready fire department. Yes, it says rough and ready. They're owning it. Gotta love it when they own it. What is the rough and ready Grange? It was a beauty salon. You go in looking rough and you come out looking ready. That should be their slogan. Wait, their website's not for a beauty salon? Didn't it say beauty salon? Yes, it did. We had a great breakfast. Okay, maybe that shouldn't be their slogan. The animal clinic, definitely coming in rough. Ooh, that is quite a um, rough and ready animal clinic. It was five plus stars when Kevin owned it. Now it's a place where I will never take my dogs to. Okay, Teresa. Mystery lane. <laughs> Secession Lane. They forgive, but they don't forget. You'd have to live on Rough and Ready Road if you lived there. Rough and Ready Road in Rough and Ready, California. There better be a property available. I need it. Nugget Lane. Actually, Nugget would also be a desirable road. Actually, let's see the satellite view. Ooh, they've got a swimming pool. That's nice. There are some funny little lakes. Some big houses look like they're hiding here. All right, let's check it out. Zillow, Rough and Ready. Okay, got some choices. Is it on Rough and Ready Road though? It's on the highway. Rough and Ready Highway, please tell me. Yes! Double whammy! Oh, sweet, sweet Rough and Ready. I'm kind of a fan. Ooh, that's cheap, so that's just gonna be land. 4.6 acres, 115 grand. You can live in Rough and Ready. Wasn't there something else? Oh yeah. Is this also land? Yes, it is. It is a shame that there's nothing on Rough and Ready Road and it is mostly land. I was hoping for a move-in special. Oh, is that the blacksmith? Nice. There's the sign for Rough and Ready. The Wayside Chapel of Rough and Ready Weddings. <laughs> Wait, is that real? Wayside Chapel. Chapel, rough and ready. It is. You can get married at the rough and ready wayside chapel. That's the new Vegas wedding, baby. Grab your sweetheart by the genitals and get them to rough and ready. All I want is to stand on this like little deck and eat a popsicle. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about this. It's just summertime popsicles. Um, is that weird? I don't know if that's weird. <laughs> the only mining town to secede from the Union and Territory of California, then to vote itself back in, is the town of Rough and Ready. Did anybody in California know that they seceded? Jane Ashcroft and her husband have lived in Rough and Ready for 17 years. But when she tells people where she lives, sometimes they don't believe her. To add to the disbelief, the Ashcrofts also live on to Hell and Back Lane? How did I miss that? Where is to Hell and Back Lane? There it is. It's right in the middle. Oh my god. To Hell and Back Lane in Rough and Ready. Hold on. How did I miss that? Your address could be, should a property open up for sale. To Hell and Back Lane, Rough and Ready, California. That is the dream, my friends. Oh my God. The crossroads of Rough and Ready Road and To Hell and Back Lane. This right here, unicorn spottings, resurrections, you name it, it has happened at this intersection. If you're ever gonna make a wish that you want to come true, this is gonna be the spot. This is where the universe converges. There they are, the lucky couple. Okay, so it was the Great Republic of Rough and Ready. It was 1850 and the townspeople didn't want to be taxed without government representation. They took a vote and sent paperwork to Washington DC. But the Great Republic didn't last too long. Three months later, some of the townspeople who went to Nevada City to purchase booze from the, for their celebration were not allowed to do so because they were foreigners. They went back to the town and decided to join the nation again. 
So they couldn't celebrate their own secession because they were foreigners, so they opted to rejoin. That was not included in the Wikipedia page. I love it. I actually need to pull off that exit next time I go to Tahoe because I've I've laughed that sign for for many years and I need to pay it a visit. I've decided it's gonna happen. That's it for this episode of Dirty Adventures and it certainly was. My goodness, what a gem. If you enjoyed this little trip, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it all. And uh, do give a suggestion for where you'd like to go next. I would love to know. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>